You just love that blanket, that catnip blanket, don't you? Hey guys, Steve from Whisker Barrel. Now we just got back from our trip from Michigan and we had a blast. Uh, one of the highlights of our trip was visiting the Traverse City Whiskey Company's production facility. There are so many great things that we learned about Traverse City Whiskey. We had a good time on our tour. Shout outs to Jesse, she did a fantastic job. Good show, jolly good show. But there's also some things to be excited about the future of Traverse City Whiskey. And you'll see that in the following video. We met a lot of furry friends uh, on our visit. We are so grateful for the, the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. We can't thank you guys enough. I love you guys. Also, we have, as you can see in the back, there's so many uh, bottles that we need to pop open and review. So that's what you can look forward to in the few weeks or so. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Making our way to the Traverse City Whiskey Company production facility, and we are positively excited. Now, here's a fun fact. As you all know, I'm a Florida native, and it wasn't until I visited Michigan that I saw snow for the first time, and that really wasn't that long ago. And there it is. Now just take a look at this building. It is so cool and unique. And the reason why it's so unique is because it was owned by a local architect before it was purchased by TCWC. I can't get over how interesting this place is. Me just being nosy and, and peeking around. And here's our first furry encounter. Now, even though Tiny looks a, a little rough, a little mean, he's actually very friendly. This is where a tour began, where Jesse, or tour guide, helped us to paw into some whiskey and she allowed us to have free reign pretty much. Whatever bottle we wanted to try, she was happy to pour it. And this is their current litter. You have the cherry whiskey on the left and that's what introduced my wife and I to Traverse City whiskey and we love it. There's also the North Great Rye, their OG bourbon, and then some flavors like Lakeside Peach and Michigan Apple. Now over here you have all their barrel proofs starting from the left. You have the barrel proof rye, which is so good. And there's also a, a experimental gin, their weeded bourbon, their cherry bourbon, and their classical bourbon. And on the right you have their finishing series of uh, whiskey finished in wine barrels. As we sipped on some samples, Jesse explained how Traverse City Whiskey was started by three Michigan State colleagues, Chris, Marty, and Jared, in 2012, where one of them discovered their grandfather's bourbon recipe. Man, my grandpa was slipping. These guys are so committed to using local ingredients and traditional methods in their whiskey production. She also shared with us that TCWC has a new distillery where they will transition from sourcing their whiskey from MGP and start to ferment, distill, and bottle under one roof. They might even start growing their own grains. Now that is exciting to me. We'll also have an exciting new visitor center and tasting room. It'll have a Vendum still from Kentucky, which if you know, you know that is the best of the best. 
not only that, they will have the ability to be an incubator, so to speak, for small and young craft distillers trying to get a foothold on the scene. Now this is the forbidden bottle. This was the only bottle that we weren't able to sample. They make their own cherries, y'all. Um, but it's hard to do only because the syrup is super gunky. As soon as it dries, it's like blue. So they gotta heat that up. Everything's getting. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like this. Smaller, only 185 Yeah, little babies. 49 yeah. I know, I was like, those are some nice ones. Those are Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure it's the same magazine where I wanted to pull the yeah. That had already been sitting for quite some time, but he harvested them and we got to do them tonight. Mm -hmm. And then he's pumping into a finishing bill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Stick it in there, pull it out, send it down, someone corks it. The original label is actually one of the cherry right now. So that was went into those labels and out. So this is like a huge improvement. I think on a really good day, someone was telling me that 3,000 bottles a day was the max that they could do with just like a group of people. Yes, and then it's 3,000 bottles an hour. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry. It's safe to say I was jealous of these folks getting a barrel break and it was coming to Florida. Side note, you can even buy an empty barrel from them as well. <laughs> This is possum. The employees have their own barrel picks. It has their names on it and you can periodically buy these at the still house. So this one's yours? This one's me. This I didn't get to buy Jesse's, but I did get to try someone else's pick. And there goes some more furry encounters. All right guys, that was the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. <laughs> so after a tour, my wife and I had some plans to have dinner with her family, and then we were gonna hit up the Traverse City Whiskey Company Still House. But on the way there, we decided to stop at some stores, and I decided to record um, what some of these stores had to offer. This, the first one is Myers, and then a cute little liquor store in town. Hi, how are you? Oh, we need a we need a cart, babe. Oh, okay. Yo, look how awesome this looks. Mm. 
Myers has a lot going on. There is so much here and all at retail. Look at all these store picks. We came across this cool little local liquor store called the Blue Goat. Their selection isn't that big because they just started carrying bourbons and whiskeys, but they do a lot of tasting events and we sure plan to come back here. And here's the Traverse City Whiskey Company's still house. This is their speakeasy style cocktail bar located in downtown Traverse City. Now there's all kind of merch here. You can get glassware, you can buy bottles, you can get special signature whiskeys and limited editions that you can only get when you visit this still house. This is also where they distill their verse gin, their experimental gin, and some other whiskeys. Thank you guys for watching and spending some time with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps us out, and we'll see you on the next video.